Hello everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And it is a beautiful Monday. I hope y'all are super excited because I am. And today's topic is when shit gets heated. When shit gets heated. We're about to talk about when shit gets heated in our relationship. Um, when shit gets heated with these toys, because they are heated toys. When shit gets heated in every aspect from relationships to online posts to packing the motherfucker shit and putting them out and all that. We about to get into all of that today. That's the topic, when shit gets heated. Because if you are in a relationship long enough, and I don't care if it's relationship, girlfriend, um, baby mama, I don't care if it's wife, meaning any type of relationship, siblings, shit can get heated. But how do you handle it? That's the real question. So let me do some lip catching up. Um, first of all, I got my little Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan. I got my little Shaka Khan hair in. Um, I hope y'all was able to check out the photo shoot this weekend with the honey. This was just some last minute. My husband woke up and was like, hey, get up. You taking pictures today. Being that I'm his muse, I had to get up and get myself together. $10 ponytail from, uh, ponytail from the house store. So if you need to just get yourself together real, real, real quick. Dollar hoop earrings, $10 ponytail. Go get yourself together right quick. All right. Next this weekend, Mr. Derek Jackson. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let me just say this here because last night I was able to see the woman that he was uh, allegedly cheating with. I have stressed this over and over and over again, and I'm not saying that the wife did anything right or wrong. I'm just trying to let you know that all men have to have a feminine asset men like women who are beautiful and feminine and who carry themselves a certain way and the picture that i seen of his wife i did see the wedding pictures they, they were cute and we all expect everybody to be they look their best on their wedding day but you need to look your best outside of the wedding as well and the pictures that i saw i don't know but his side piece she was cute all right, moving on past that. Let me say this here. You know, I was asked in another group about when situations get heated and all of this kind of stuff. Okay, it is okay for you all to take a break for that evening, meaning that, you know, y'all may have to sleep in separate spaces in the house, meaning you might have to sleep in the, in the bedroom. And he might have to catch the couch on the, uh, you know, in the living room. But this is what you should not be doing. You ain't supposed to be packing nobody's shit and putting them out unless you ain't intending on them to come back. And I'm going to tell you why. Because far too often, we get into heated arguments. And the first thing we want to do is put people out. Now, I don't know if y'all are regular, average, everyday people like me and my husband, regular, average, everyday people. When people putting you out, you done already paid your expenses to be there for the month, more than likely. And a lot of times you ain't got the money to just pick up and go and go find somewhere else to stay. Right? So let's, let's just be fair about it. If this is a situation and you know that you all are going to be able to move past it. The furthest the other person need to be going is to the next room. Y'all don't need to be put, packing people shit up and putting them out and taking it to their mama house and all of this shit. Then you driving by all night long and now you mad because his car ain't there. And now you trying to figure out where I put you out, well, where you was at. Well, bitch, what difference does it make where he was? You done put him out. And the thing about putting people out is if there is a 50-50 chance that they will or won't come back. And most times, from what I have seen in relationships, the things that you are putting people out behind are a lot of, it's petty shit. Petty. P-E-T-T-Y, petty shit. 
Seriously. If you are putting people out, do it because you don't have no intentions on them coming back. Do it because you are legally able to do this because then you have other situations that come about where you're trying to put people out and then they don't want to leave and then that shit turn into domestic disputes and sometimes authorities got to get called. And now you had a situation that escalated, escalated, escalated and it was all over a motherfucking Facebook post because you put something that I didn't like on the internet or I put something that you didn't like on the internet like y'all taking this internet shit way, 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 way too far. And if you can't handle what the other person is putting out there, then maybe you shouldn't follow them. Or maybe y'all shouldn't be friends on the internet because y'all actually live together in real life. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to open up those doors to be putting people out. When you put people out, you open up the doors for all kind of other shit to happen. When you put people out, you actually lose control of a situation. Because the first thing they say is, well, you put me out. I ain't think you wanted me no more. I ain't think it was nothing between us no more. I didn't think, because if, if it's something that you feel like you could work out, then why don't y'all just um, try to resolve that shit and then try to come to some type of common ground, even if you got to take a moment and then revisit it the next day? Why y'all got to be putting shit in garbage bags and stuff? Why y'all got to be taking shit to other people's houses and then now you got all the family in y'all business? Why? Are y'all doing this? And then when he done went over there during this eight hours the child was broke up and he, he done fell off in some other pussy and a, now we got a baby as a result of an argument or a, a misunderstanding then y'all like, Sharonda, fix my life. Listen to wisdom. Don't even go there from the beginning, especially my married women. Don't even allow that shit to go on like that. The furthest you need to go is to the next room. And if you feel like the shit is just that heated, go to a hotel and get you a hotel. I, I will tell you in a heartbeat, if you feel like the shit is just so out of control until you can't even be in separate rooms, go get you a room and let them know, look, I got a room here. This is where I'm going to be at. I will see you tomorrow and hopefully we in a better place so we can talk and work this shit out. But you see how they didn't put other people in your business and a lot of people say, oh no, I ain't about to do no hotel. You bitch, you don't want to go get no hotel, but you'll go, you, you want to put all these people in your business. You want to put his mom and your sister in your business. But then you want to frown up at me for suggesting a hotel. You, you make it make sense to me. Make it make sense to me. Because if you're trying to de-escalate a situation, de-escalate a situation. Don't do shit to make the situation worse. Because when you go into a hotel, you're just taking a fucking overnight bag until everybody can cool off and reach some type of common ground. But y'all talking so, oh, she talking about going to get a hotel. Don't nothing go on that hotel, but fucking, and, it's a, and, and motherfuckers resting and clearing their head. That goes on in hotels too. Seriously. But somebody got to have some wisdom, okay? Stop packing people's shit, putting it in those hefty garbage bags, and putting people out and taking them to their mama's house and their sister's house and putting everybody in your business. And then you up all night long riding by the people's house and all this shit. Like, y'all got too much time on y'all hands. Way too much time. And when I see stuff like that, sometimes I think that people just like a certain level of drama. I do. When I see people behavior like that, I really feel like it's just a certain level of bullshit that they got to have in their life. For real. Okay? When shit gets heated. Sometimes you got to understand how forgiveness works. I'm talking about this because everybody wasn't raised in the church. And everybody don't understand how forgiveness works. And even I have had to deal with it in my own household. Whereas... My husband won't forgiveness from other people, but a lot of times it's hard for him to extend that same forgiveness. And that's just the way people operate. They want leniency, mercy, grace when it comes down to them, but they don't necessarily know how to extend it to other people. We all have to operate on a certain level of forgiveness as well in order to be able to move forward for the common good of our family.
if we put in our family, like if we have our family's best interest, in, like don't nobody want to walk around all day and you throwing little jabs and shots and sarcasm and all that shit. Either you moved past it and forgave or you didn't. See, this is all the shit that I deal with when I'm dealing with sex culture and relationship culture and whatever you want to call it. This is the type of shit that I deal with, with people just not knowing how to cohabitate and get along with one another. It's very easy. You know how you do it? You treat people how you want to be treated. You operate in the same level of forgiveness that you want people to have for you. It's, it's really easy. It's not hard at all. Shit ain't never got to get heated. And if it do get heated, let it be because it's in your bedroom. Now, y'all, a lot of y'all like to cut up because y'all like to make up sex. You ain't got to be cutting up and doing all that just to get some good dick. You ain't got to do all that just to fuck one good time. If y'all want to fuck one good time, just fuck one good time. Y'all ain't got to be cutting up like that to have passion. You can pull that shit from within you. You ain't got to be cutting up like that behind no passion. Come on now. But if you want shit to get heated in your bedroom, I got all of these heated bullets. Heated bullets. These are called the whisper bullets. Whisper bullets make little to no sound at all. They are extremely, extremely quiet. And what I love about the whisper bullet is they are micro. And I'm going to show you. Because I had somebody that asked me about this not too long ago. So you see how this bullet detached from the controller? The cord detached? This keeps your bullet from getting shortages. The reason you have to continue to replace your bullet over and over and over again is because of this part right here where the car just start messing up because you pulling and tugging and doing all kind of shit to the bullet. So it has a detachable port. And if you look, you see how small that is? You see how small that is? This is designed to be able to get into the creases in the fold of the clitoris. That means that this can penetrate, uh, not penetrate, penetrate means to be able to go in. But this means that it can stimulate and touch nerves that your big bullet, it just lay on top of. Now you can actually get touched directly on them nerves in the folds of the clitoris. Now, some people don't know what it look like to have folds in the clitoris, but if you got a big old fat pussy, then you know what folds in the clitoris look like. That means that that pussy got some meat on it. And sometimes you got to get all up in there with the bullet. Oh, but baby, it's awesome. It is an awesome, amazing feeling. So that is the Whisper Bullet. These have the um, detachable ports to keep you from having to deal with shortages. Okay, so we have it in light pink, hot pink, light purple, dark purple. Cool. Then we have it in 10 speeds. Now, this is the 10 speed one. Now, of course, this is the upgraded version to the heated bullet. All of them are heated, but this is the upgraded version of it, okay? And if you really, really, really want to have some fun, Make Me Come is back in stock. Y'all, Make Me Come was one of our bigger sellers last week. On the website, we actually sold out of it. I'm trying to put this back. We actually sold out of it. Well, guess what? We have restocked it, and I ordered even more, being that I had so many uh, response, such great feedback from it, because a lot of times, I told y'all that I hadn't used it. See, if I had used it, I would have told you that I had used it, but I hadn't used it. It was um, sent to me. A lot of times, the toy companies, They'll send me, um, what you call it, trials, testers. And they'll say, hey, Sharonda, give this out to your customers. So what I do is I put it in like little grab bags. I put it in like little baskets. I, I put it out there to where you all can get it free. And I don't say nothing about it. Because one thing I know is if the shit good and you enjoy it, you're going to come let me know about it. And that's just, that, that's just how I feel about it. They have so much new stuff that come out on a regular basis. I have boxes and boxes of shit back here that people are sending me. I got lubricant on the counter right now. Mango and pineapple, strawberry, kiwi, and all this shit. Let me tell you, I have to give that shit to my staff and, and other people. I have different people that I have coming through here testing shit for me. Because it's only so much that my fucking mouth and pussy can do. 
I'm one person. And I know everybody want me to try it all, but sometimes it's just so much until I just can't try it all until I got to give it to other people and then let them give me their uh, personal experience from it. So, um, one of my ladies, I'm going to say she's in Chicago. Can't remember. I think she might have ordered, oh, she ordered the Christmas whole bag. And the Make Me Come was in the Christmas whole bag. And she thought it came in a little bitty um, tester size. She was like, what do I need to do? Because I want to order like about 12 of them. And I said, well, wait, they make it in a jar. But I was actually waiting on feedback and for me to know how it worked because I've never tried it before. She said, well, let me tell you, I had a hysterectomy going through menopause and that shit woke my body all the way up. Like that shit is the truth. And I was like, okay, well, because you told me that shit is the truth, I'm going to order 24 of them. Well, guess what? I ordered 24 of them, and they was gone. And then I had another lady, my sweet baby that did the video, and y'all hoes went back and told her old man, and, and um, the fucking man was asking her about how, what she posting in the group and all of this shit, because y'all hoes talk too much. But like I told her, see, let me tell you something. When a man come to you about something that another bitch said, the first thing I want to know is why this hoe so comfortable to come to you about me. That's all I want to know. Why this bitch so comfortable to come to you and feel like she could say anything about me? That's that's my only thing. But anyway, she gave the testimony and she talked about the make me come and the spot on that she had used them together and she couldn't stop squirting because she was like so sensitive and she was uh, doing a crybaby on the dick. She said she sat on the dick and did the cry baby to where she was just riding the head of his dick, the tip of it. And her riding the tip of his dick just had her squirting back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Cool. So, long story short, she was talking about how good this shit is too. Well, by the time she gave her testimony, I still had not tried it because y'all hoes bought it all. I was out of the samples. I was out of the 24 that I ordered. So, guess what? This morning, we got 50 of them in here. We got a whole case of 50. I'm trying one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to let you know for myself how it works. That way you can hear from my mouth how it works. All right. So that is going to be that on that. Y'all, let me tell you something. Derek Jackson lied so good last night. Uh, talking about... <laughs> Talking about, oh, uh, that nigga ain't want to take no personal responsibility at all for that shit. He was mad at God because he got saved. And after he got saved, his marriage fell apart. And when his marriage fell apart, he was mad at God. And he went out there and fucked somebody. And then tried to sell us his book all in the process of telling, y'all, I almost bought the motherfucking book because I'm just that fucking nosy. Like, I was like, you know what? I ought to order this fucking book because the book is something about healing. And y'all know I'm all about self-help and all of this kind of shit like that. And I almost bought the motherfucking book last night. Then I realized this motherfucker on here trying to bullshit me into buying this motherfucking book. Let me get off this fucking internet. Because he almost got a sale just now from me wanting to be nosy to see what he talking about. The healing. Something with healing. Y'all know. Anyway. <laughs> No, I'm not bringing the rose back. I have somebody that's asking me about the rose. So let me just say this here. The very first time I brought the roses into the store, the original one that I ordered came with a certain type of charger. Okay? No problems out of those at all. The roses took off. Everybody wanted the rose. Well, I went back to the same company and put my order in for the rose. The rose they sent me this time had a different type of charger that I personally don't like. I don't like chargers that lay on toys because from my experience dealing with toys, those type of chargers that like, see this one here, I'm going to give you an example. This, this is not a charger, but I'm just showing you the difference in a certain type of charger. A lot of chargers have it to where you can actually plug into the toy and charge, right? Toy lights up, you know that the toy is charging. But you got these other toys that are made 
in China because that's who a lot of people use it for manufacturers. I personally like Japanese toys. Personally, they, they put a little more pride into it. They shit don't sound like motors when you turn them on. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. Um, This particular charger just lays on the roads. Well, then I start getting phone calls. Miss Sharonda, my roads ain't charging. Miss Sharonda, I'm having problems with the charger. Miss Sharonda, they ain't cutting on. Miss Sharonda, this said the other. And then, you know, I have to show them, walk them through how to do it. But I just don't want to be... I don't want to deal with toys that are not good quality. So what happens is when the manufacturer changes and they start making the toy a cheaper quality, then I stop fucking with it. Because you got to give me back what I ordered the first time. And not because you went and changed it up and had it made it more cheaply made. And then you expect me to still push this same product. I can't. I can't. I got to be able to stand behind it. Okay. Yeah, like the iPhone, like the watch chargers, you just lay it on there. I don't, I don't necessarily like that for when it come down to toys. Um, so yeah, that was a good example. Like the iPhone watch charger. Mm hmm. And that's why I ain't got my watch on right now because guess what? I forgot it on the damn charger. And I actually like the lit. Um, Spencer always buys me stuff with all this technology and I like it because I can actually get my emails. Like I could be driving and I could see that the email came through. I could be driving and see that the cash app came through. I could be driving or doing whatever, see that PayPal came through. So it's really good for that. But I don't know. If you know me personally, you know I ain't just I, I ain't just crazy about technology like that. I like uh old school practical shit. I don't like too many buttons on washing machines. I don't like too many gadgets and gadgets. I don't want no TV on my refrigerator. I don't like all that shit because I always think about when all this shit start to break, how the fuck we gonna fix it? And that means you gotta go take it to specialized people to go and handle the business. So, anyway, that is the reason I'm not carrying the rose because if um, if you ain't gonna give me back what I had, which if, if I saw that they came back with the original ones when they first, first came out, then of course I will sell them. But let me say this too. The reason I ordered the Satisfier is because it is an AirPods technology toy just like the Rose. And it takes batteries, meaning that we don't have to worry about it, the charging portion. We ain't got to worry about it uh, not charging. It takes uh, AAA batteries. So if you were interested in AirPods technology, we have the Satisfier. And then we have another one called Suck and Vibe on my website. It's $79.99, but I don't want to. I got one called Suck and Vibe and Suck Me, Fuck Me. But I think it's Suck and Vibe. But that's also AirPods technology and the G-Spot stimulator on it. And we actually have more of them that will be in at the end of this week. Hopefully, they'll be in. I'm waiting on them to come in. Um, that's going to be that on that. Of course, uh, wife school is fastly approaching. We are like right, right there. I'm so excited. All of the ladies that are excited. I'm so looking forward to working one-on-one -on -one with you all and, um, just really being able to help you all take it to the next level. Because a, a few months ago, I did a video called setting the standard and, I know a lot of my videos that I've been making this year in 2021, it has been rubbing a lot of people wrong. It has. But if you are a Christian women like myself, we have been charged to do things with the spirit of excellence. And the standard is excellence. And you cannot get mad because I inform you that the standard is excellence. We can't be shady. We can't have ass. We can't do that. And, um, you know, I, I look at all kinds of stuff. I look at when I talk to women, if I talk to any of y'all, the first thing y'all tell me is, I want a man to be honest with me. I want him to be honest. Honesty is important. Integrity is important. Being truthful is important. This is what you say out of your mouth that's important to you. And this is, and, and, and that's some good shit. Because we all want that. But we got to give it too. And we can't be shady. Let me tell you something. I ain't never got a problem with telling my husband what I, what I got. 
I don't, I don't never have a problem with that, but a lot of y'all feel like y'all got to duck and hide and sneak because of, well, he going to say something. He going to want to do this and that the other. But somebody got to have some wisdom. He could be the owner of the team, but you the manager of the team. And you have to manage things accordingly to make sure that y'all have what y'all need. We have to walk in a certain level of integrity ourselves. And we can't be on no ducking and hiding type shit if we don't want nobody doing that to us. And I'm big on it. I am very big on it. Because when you start breaking down the honesty, will it smile shit like that? Then the honesty start getting broken down with all kind of bigger shit. For real. All right. I think that's going to um, conclude it today. And, oh, also, if you want to book a sex coaching session, please email me. A lot of times I check my um, inbox, but sometimes things go to the spam folder. And by the time I get it, your situation and came and went. So email me about sex coaching because that's how I send you your invoice via email for sex coaching. And I'm about to get started because I got so many online orders because yesterday the honey was $8 a pack. So I'm about to get in here and start processing these orders to get this honey mailed out so y'all can enjoy y'all week. And y'all getting ready for spring break? I know y'all getting ready for spring. Y'all getting ready for spring break? Okay. I go get my second vaccine this week too for um for COVID. I go get the other Pfizer vaccine. So y'all pray for me. I've been taking all my vitamins and doing everything, trying to make sure my immune system built up so I don't have no reactions because I don't want to be sick. But I have been hearing that when people take the second vaccine that um they didn't really feel so, so well for a day or two. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I just pray that um everything works well with it because I'm getting the vaccine. I'm getting it. I'm I'm working out. I do it for the greater good because I need some normalcy back in my life because I like to travel. I like to go. And I, I'll talk about that another time. We'll, we'll touch on that another time. Y'all be blessed.